If you're a Ferrari fan, yesterday must have felt like Groundhog Day. Once again, Ferrari blowing a race that seemingly they had won. Let's work out just how they threw this one away for the millionth time in the last five years or so. So because of the colder conditions at the Hungaro ring, uh, because of the rain in the area, tyre choice was very important for the start of the race and was always going to be through the Grand Prix. Coming from Friday, the teams did initially think the hard compound tyre was going to be a very important tyre, but because of the temperature drop-off compared to Friday, it was clear that for Sunday's Grand Prix, the softer tyres were going to work out better. And if we look at the tyres that the big teams were starting on for the Grand Prix, you had Russell on the soft compound tyre on pole position, Lewis Hamilton back in P7 for Mercedes on the medium, the two Ferraris on the medium, and then the two Red Bulls on the soft compound tyre. And to be honest, for the people who started on the soft compound tyres, especially Russell and the two Red Bulls, that choice was a pretty good one, as Russell was able to comfortably maintain his lead until his first pit stop, and Red Bull were able to make good progress up the field until their first pit stop. Looking at Ferrari, though, Despite not having great pace in that first 20 laps or so on the medium compound tyre, by the time Russell came for his first pit stop, they did close the gap right up to Russell to just under a second. And it was looking as though the race was going to be won by the Italians. Because they had a 2-on-1 against Russell, Verstappen wasn't quite in the action just yet, and Ferrari could go a bit longer on their tyres, which would help later in the race. Carlos Sainz would pit one lap after George Russell and Charles Leclerc would go a few laps longer into the Grand Prix to get some fresher tyres. Carlos Sainz didn't have the greatest pit stop so when Charles Leclerc eventually pitted for his first stop onto another set of medium tyres, Leclerc got up to second. But at this point, the strategy was going very well for the Ferrari team because they were, with Charles Leclerc at least, on fresh, good tyres to attack Russell for the lead which is exactly what Charles Leclerc did and eventually overtook Russell into turn one and built a very healthy margin over Russell of over five seconds. And until Max Verstappen's second pit stop where he went onto another set of mediums after pitting with his first stint from soft to mediums, he was looking as though Ferrari were going to win the race. It was going to be close still, but they had, at this point, Still enough pace to do so and had good track position as well. But what they did next was the race losing move. They decided to pitch Charles Leclerc for a second time to cover off Max Verstappen, which was not the worst move in the world, but put him on hard compound tyres. This was a terrible decision that was proved just 10 laps later as he had no pace compared to his rivals around him and had to pit a third time to go onto soft compound tyres, the compound he should have gone onto for his final pit stop. But just why was it the wrong decision to go onto hard tyres? Well, there's a couple reasons. Again, as I said earlier, the cold conditions in Budapest meant that the hard compound tyres simply weren't working in those colder conditions. We saw this especially with the Alpine and Haas team, as when they put on hard tyres for their first pit stop, compared to their pace initially on the mediums, they had no pace whatsoever. Alpine, for example, right before their first pit stop, were in a close-ish fight with Lando Norris for the upper midfield positions, but then once they pitted for the hard tyres, were overtaken with both cars by Daniel Ricciardo, and were now fighting Aston Martins just to finish in the points they would eventually finish eighth and ninth but that's because the aston martins just didn't have enough pace to come back through after an extra pit stop and with the haas team mick schumacher was running in quite a healthy position and at one point was in the top 10 but then once he put on hard compound tires had no pace whatsoever the data was clearly there to illustrate and i was saying this plenty of times during my race watch along that the hard compound tyres were not working at all. And it wasn't just a trend we were seeing over a two or three lap period, we were seeing it for at least 10 laps that the hard compound tyre runners were struggling massively. But Ferrari were completely oblivious, as they always are, to reality when it comes to how they strategically manage a Grand Prix, as their simulation predicted that the hard compound tyre would be a much better tyre 
than it actually was. Which is why they get the strategy so wrong so many times, because Ferrari are unable to adapt to what is actually happening in the Grand Prix. A simulation is great, but it is not going to predict everything perfectly, or even correctly. Red Bull showed a great example of being able to adapt their strategy as their original strategy for the Grand Prix saw them eventually using the hard compound tyres, but Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez on their installation laps to the grid complained so much about being unable to fire the tyres up that Red Bull decided to alter their strategy and not use the hard compound tyres. If Red Bull can alter their strategy based on the reality that the hard compound tyres would not be able to work in these conditions on an installation lap, why does it take Ferrari so long to work this out? It's like Ferrari are operating in a completely different universe compared to the rest of the teams. But no, in the end, they decided that they wanted to have some of that poor pace that Alpine and Haas had on the hard compound tyre and went onto that tyre and Charles Leclerc was overtaken not once but twice by Max Verstappen even though Verstappen spun right after he passed Leclerc for what was the net lead of the Grand Prix. Then was passed quite easily by Russell at turn one and was going to be passed by Carlos Sainz and Sergio Perez and then decided rightfully to pit him for soft compound tyres. What I find hilarious is that with Carlos Sainz they actually did the correct strategy by going on to soft tyres for the final stint even though they probably should have gone a few laps longer on the medium tyre so the soft tyre didn't quite die out like it did for Sainz at the very end. I just don't understand also how they can do the correct strategy pretty much for Sainz, but do a completely different and wrong one for Charles Leclerc, who was clearly the man they had to prioritise on strategy. But pretty much everything Ferrari does is hard, if not impossible, to understand. And in the end, finished in P4 and P6, that is the second consecutive Grand Prix that they have not even finished on the podium. Despite having, probably in the last two weekends, the best car on the grid, at least in qualifying. There's not much else to say when it comes to this team. The only thing I can say is, thank fuck, it is the summer break. Not for Ferrari, but for the drivers who have had to put up with this insanity for the first half of the season. And the drivers are the only ones who actually deserve a summer break. Ferrari should be working hard at trying to develop some new brain cells. It would go a long way at Ferrari for the second half of the season to try and hold off Mercedes for second in the championship. Something that none of us thought we'd be saying at all three months ago. Let me know though guys in the comments section, what did you think of the Ferrari strategy in the Hungarian Grand Prix? And let me know just in general what you think of Ferrari as a meme. And until my next video or stream guys, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.